Hey, Miss Hoag's class. Riley and I are here to teach you how to, to grow your tomato sphere seeds. So remember, you guys asked for this extra project, so I hope that you guys all do it. Remember, Tomato Sphere is a really cool program where half of your seeds went to the International Space Station for about nine months. The other half had to stay quietly here on Earth waiting to be planted. So what you're going to do today is you're going to take your little planting pod mix and put it in a cup. Now I gave you this with three seeds. So drop that into a cup and just pour some water on it. So in a couple minutes, this water should start to soak into the plant seed or into the plant pod. It's apparently taking mine forever. So you just wait and wait and wait. Come here. Come here, come say hi. Riley, look. This is his favorite toy. Look how disgusting it is. He's over here. He cannot stand himself. All he wants is this ball watch. He will literally do anything because ball is life. He's about to bite me for it. He is the worst dog in the world, but he's awful cute, so that's why we keep him. Plus, I mean, I guess the whole we made a commitment to a dog thing. All right, so this is slowly absorbing some water. It's starting to puff up a little bit. We'll just let, let it soak for a few more minutes. I'm going to pause here because the dog is losing his mind over here on the floor. All right, it's been a few minutes, and finally, our seed pod has um, expanded. So it's pretty full of water now. It's kind of soft and soggy. So you want to make sure that you put it into a cup in order to sprout. If you have a cup or a, even a small bowl, this will all hold together as long as you don't poke at it too much. This netting around it will keep all the peat in nicely so that it'll work. Now, you're just gonna drop, actually, let me leave this out so I can show you. So you're gonna take your pot, and I gave you each three little seeds, so you can kind of see one of mine. I'm just gonna pop that in. And you'll see them right here, kind of. The lighting's not fantastic. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to just gently use my finger to kind of poke them in a little bit. Use, kind of push around the, la the layer of peat on top so that you can't see it. So now they're all covered up. Now we're going to put it into our cup or a shallow bowl. Just pop it in there and then put it in a sunny place. Now, over the next few days, you are going to have to take some important data. And that data, we are going to report to the people who sponsor the Tomato Spheres program. So what they want to know is how many of your seeds germinate. So remember, maybe I didn't tell you, germinate means that they activate and they come to life and the plant starts growing from them. So you want to count out of the three how many seeds germinate and then also make some observations. Take some pictures if you can or draw some pictures of what you see as they start to sprout. That way when we get back to school and don't forget if you're in the N group or the P group because remember one of those went to outer space then when we get back to school, we can compare how many of yours germinated in the N group versus how many germinated in the P group. So everybody has three seeds. Take very good care of our tomato seeds. And I will see you guys soon.